Hi new builders, my name is Chris and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a report. For more advanced help visit forums.newbuilder.com or check out our other videos in this series. So firstly on the home page go into reports and add a record. We'll change the name to report code EMP, the description employees and the group as test. Next we'll need to create a criteria form so we'll click on that lookup and add a record with the code BLA description blank, table zzz sys underscore debug, primary key as the debug underscore id. Just make sure the SQL says select from zzz sys underscore debug. Once that's saved, go back into the report. We'll need to create a temporary table using PHP. We're going to use the code EMPR, the description employees report and the group as test. Then go to the PHP code tab put in this code. Now this code is going to gather all the employees from the employees table and store it for the report. Once that's done, save and exit and click on the report builder at the bottom of the screen. Create a new object and put it in the detail section, then double click the object to rename the field. We're going to call this emp underscore first underscore name to relate to the field in our employee table. Tab out of that and close the pop up. Now clone the object and we'll change that object to emp underscore last underscore name. After that I'm going to clone the object twice again, putting him in a page header. I'm going to change the object type to label so we can create names for the columns. I've also added a long object with the height of 1 to help space out the objects and align them neatly. Lastly, go to group properties and put in our last name field to sort the results. Click on the copy changes button and close back to the home page. Go into run report and we'll see that the first and last name column has now appeared in the finished report. Thanks for watching. Don't forget you can go to forums.newbuilder.com for further help and tips.